I think I easily clocked in more than 15,000 steps already. <laughs> One of my colleagues, the sole of her shoe came off. I was so intimidated. Just do your thing. Nobody cares anyway. I'll be flying to Rome tonight. It's about 10.30 now at night and I almost forgot I have work today. Because of the reporting time, it's midnight so I thought it was tomorrow but it's actually tonight. So I didn't even pack, I didn't even do my nails. Thank god I had time to get ready. I had some time to take a nap as well so that's good. I'm excited for this flight because the stay is quite long. It's about almost three days of clear day. I'm not sure if any of the crew are planning to go out or to Vatican City but if let's say no one has plans to go out then it's okay because I've been there before but it would be nice to go with a good company and I hope the crew on this flight is nice to work with and nice to hang out with so we'll see. Bye! Yeah, the view outside is so sunny today but the pool is dried out. <laughs> Look at that pool. Forget. Toilet is pretty massive, so they have a bathtub and then the shower area. But something's wrong with the light, it's not working. Couldn't turn it on. Having poke bowl in Rome. This is a spicy tuna with a top of salmon. And I have soda. Yes. Hello from Rome. It's day two now. <laughs> I. <laughs> um, so day one which was yesterday, I was too tired. We arrived here at 10 a.m. and we had a shuttle at 1 p.m. to go to the mall. So in between those timing, I didn't have time to film and I also didn't have the energy to film. Basically at the mall, we went for lunch. I had like a pokeball. I wouldn't say this is a fun fact, but one fact about me is that if I don't have my seven hours of sleep, and I go out to eat, it will trigger my gastritis. So I tried to eat light, so I went for poke bowl instead. And then after that, we went to the supermarket. We came back to the hotel about 4.30ish p.m. in the afternoon. And then I was thinking to stay up late until at night, but I think I was following Singapore timing, so I slept about 6 p.m. here or something. And then I woke up at 3 a.m. To be honest, I'm not really sure where we're going. Hopefully, I can film my jump rope videos. Now, it's 6 a.m. They say meet up at 8 a.m. for breakfast. I have some food in my fridge because of the supermarket run yesterday. Got to eat that and then go down for breakfast to have some coffee or something because the breakfast is free apparently. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what's the plan, but today, we're definitely going to town. It's still very early, it's about 6 10, so I'm going to eat in the room first and then I'm going to head down at 8. Ah, so pretty. Look at the sunrise, the sky. Oh, it's so foggy outside. Now it's 9 degrees Celsius. Not that cold. Yesterday was about 5 degrees. I'm having my breakfast now. <laughs> I bought this from yesterday. I was supposed to eat this for dinner yesterday, but I fell asleep. I'm having some tuna sushi and green tea. Itadakimasu. Just gonna use my fork because I didn't bring any chopstick. Oh, got sauce inside. Yay! I forgot to take the wasabi. But yeah, only got soy sauce. Never mind. Lah. Still good. Still smells good. Mm -hmm. oh, so fishy. Hello, everybody. We're walking to the Spanish steps. Let's go. Look at that horse carriage. Trees are so cute. One of my colleagues, the sole of her shoe came off, so we're going to go to the mall and then we're heading to Trevi Fountain. We're here at the Trevi Fountain. Look at the amount of people. Gosh, so many. Three. Yon, let's go! It's so beautiful. Damn, everything is so well preserved. Look at that. And apparently, that hole up there is an open space. There is no glass over it. 
So when the rain falls, it just fall to the ground. But the ground is a little bit slanted and there's a little drain right there. The rain will just fall right here. It will all drain into this hole. What a cool architecture! How do I stop? Yeah, just press again. This fountain is the shape of a boat. So cute. We're making our way to the Colosseum now. 27 minutes going there and 27 minutes coming back. We'll see if we can make it for dinner. Good luck to us. On our way to the Colosseum. Colosseum time. <laughs> Almost there. We decided not to take the tour because it's about one hour. We're just gonna be outside. I think this is enough. We're just looking at the outside. Let's see if I can take my jump rope video. First up is the appetizer. It's a bruschetta with tomato and a burrata. And next up is the risotto with smoked salmon. This is a walk on the way to our pickup. So many of them busking here at the street. There's our pickup! We have two minutes left and we made it! Yes! We don't have a ticket though. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have a ticket. Way in! That's our girl over there. She has our tickets. It's 7 p.m. and I'm finally back in the hotel room. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. The whole day we were like walking and walking and walking. I think I easily brought in more than 15,000 steps already. <laughs> Today we went from... How do I explain this? Let me show you on a map instead. So from here, we went to Trevi, then went to see the Spanish steps. So it's somewhere around the Trevi fountain. And then we went to the Pantheon, which is this. After that, we walk all the way to Colosseum, which is... Hold on. Oh my god, I lost it. Oh my god, which Pantheon? Well, the Pantheon is there. And then that was our starting point right here. We walk all the way to Colosseum, which is here. So yeah, we walked a lot today. It looks like a short distance, but everything took like a few hours to walk around. But we slowly took our time. We went out from 9 a.m. all the way until 6 p.m. The ride took about 30 minutes to reach our drop-off point. They really leave on time. Pickup was 6 p.m. and they left exactly at 6 p.m. So. You can't be late at all. Tomorrow, they actually plan to go to the Vatican City, which is like 40 minutes walk from the drop-off point. At first, I was thinking of going, but honestly, I've been there before, so maybe I will not go. Maybe, probably I can flash some pictures of me there, like a few years back, way before COVID. Less than five years flying, I went there, and it was quite a good experience, good memories, took nice pictures, bought some rosaries from there, if I'm not mistaken. I had fun and I'm thinking whether I should go tomorrow but maybe not. Yeah, I'll probably not go tomorrow, I'm too tired. I'm already half dead now. I'll probably stay in a hotel, go to the gym. So tomorrow will be day three. I'm so happy that we don't have standby and I'll probably have breakfast buffet again tomorrow and it's free so might as well. Uh, I'm going to catch some sleep now. Good night. Look at how sunny it is outside. Oh my gosh, what a good weather. Now it's 12 p.m. so that's why it's so hot. Hello! I just ended my session at the gym and I woke up at 6 a.m. today. I was still occupied talking to my colleagues that I forgot to take videos of the restaurant and the buffet spread and everything but it's okay. It was nice. I just had the usual cereal. We had bacon, some scrambled eggs, waffles, pancakes some juice, cappuccino. After that, we ended our breakfast at 10 a.m. because that's where they closed the restaurant. And then that's when I went to the gym. I was so intimidated because I get very anxious when I'm in new environments, especially in the gym. And if I see a lot of men, I get very intimidated. But it's okay, I still went. The most important thing is showing up and just do your thing. Nobody cares anyway. And then now, I was contemplating between two plans, actually three plans. First plan was to meet at 9 o'clock to go to the Vatican City. And then the second plan was to go to the Colosseum 
and explore inside. It's, I've never been to the inside of the Colosseum and I've never been to the tour before but it's already coming to 12.30 and I just, you know, I'm just done with the gym so I need some time to bathe and get ready. I don't want to rush, it's my day off anyway overseas so I shouldn't be rushing and I decided not to go at the end. So the third option is to just stay in the room which I'm doing right now. <laughs> I was not very keen in Vatican City because I've been before. It was nice. I think going once is enough because apparently from the drop-off point to Vatican City is about 40 minutes walk. So I'm not so keen on that. I mean, even though it's doable, enough of walking. <laughs> it's also my off day so I, I, I can spend it however I want and I'm not gonna go to places where I've been before again. So yeah, Vatican City plans cancelled, Colosseum tour also cancelled and I decided to stay in the room. I know, boring, but sis is getting old, right? <laughs> Last time, I used to be able to Cheong out. Cheong is like, immediately arrive the hotel, change, and then go out. I used to be able to do that. Now, I prioritize my sleep a lot and I really enjoy sleeping and resting because I feel that's when my body can recover fully. When I was young, I didn't really care about my body, I didn't really care about my health. But nowadays, as I grow older, I realise that health is very important. And you better take care of your health because, honestly, experience versus health, I still think that health is still more important. And anyways, I've already experienced so much already, it's enough. And I think now it's time for me to just like rest and not push myself to my limits and stress myself or nothing. By the way, thank you for the 300 subscribers. I was very surprised to see my subscribers adding up because I didn't expect anything from my vlogs. I didn't know people are interested in watching them but I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It's really hard work to edit videos, especially doing it myself and doing it on my off days. But editing video is one of my hobbies, so I will just keep doing it. Keep watching, keep supporting. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers, but that seems like a far-fetched goal right now. But I do see the subscribers adding up, so it, it's possible. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm probably not ready to tell yet, but there's a lot of surprising things coming up in the future, and I hope that you guys will stay tuned and continue to support me. Once everything is settled, once everything is done, I will reveal it, but now is not the right time. It's gonna be some exciting news and new journey, I would say. Stay tuned. Okay, I'll go in beef now. Bye. I just came back from my friend's room. So we went into my friend's room to have dinner. They said that they were going to a Chinese restaurant. So I'm craving for some Asian food. It's only been like three days. <laughs> but I'm craving for like soup and all. So they bought some Chinese food back and then we had our dinner about 7-ish. Now it's coming to 9 I think. Tomorrow's call time is 7.50 and pick up is at 8.50 a.m. That's pretty much what happened today, nothing much. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there was this restaurant that we went to yesterday. We went to eat at this Italian restaurant, it was really nice. Their pastas are made out of durum wheat. It's handmade, it really tastes authentic and the waiter, the waiter was really nice. We had a few special requests because one of our friends was Muslim, then another one don't eat beef so we had to customize the dish and then he was more than happy to do it for us. Very good service, very good food. I had a risotto with smoked salmon or something. I'm not a fan of risotto because I feel like it looks like porridge and it tastes like porridge so I'm not a fan of that. But that risotto was quite nice to say. I'm quite surprised actually that I actually liked it because I'm not really a fan of risotto. And yeah, everything else was quite nice. The name of the restaurant is Dus. I cannot pronounce it because it is in Italian. Really good, very nice restaurant. Because I remember when I came to Rome, there was not one restaurant that had good food and good pasta. But that restaurant really impressed me and everything was good, including the service. The staff there were so nice. Very good. I will definitely go back there again if I ever come to Rome and if I ever go to town. Okay, I think it's time to go to bed. So, good night. Good morning! It's departure day and it's coming to 8.30am. Pickup time is at 8.50 and today is the 24th of March. I'm gonna go down soon to check out and that's pretty much my whole vlog for Rome. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you!
Salang hey. <laughs> I appreciate the support and please do subscribe to my channel if you like my content. If you like to stay tuned to my everyday life, you can follow my socials which is my Instagram and my TikTok. I post on Instagram almost every day. That's all for my vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!